Whoa, okay, hey guys, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Get out, Link. We got it, or, uh, I'm dumb. Let's go see what's going on and see if we can find Zelda. Oh, hello! Hello, Navi. Hey. Hey. Uh, come back. I need to, uh, know the truth, the secrets. I need to go get Zelda. Skyloft. I'm coming! Careful, because the last time I just leaped over the railing and almost died. Oh, secrets. Yeah, what was... What's up? Alright, I'm coming. Oh, for the the, the par parasail thing. To hold it. Uh. Oh, it just goes straight down. You can't glide with it. Kitty! What are you doing way over here? Oh, don't show me your booty. Hello? Oh, it's an evil one. Bad kitty. Bad kitty. Not done with you. Um. Throw? Goodbye, kitty. Sorry, sorry, angry kitty. Wow, red ropey. What? 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 Okay, all right. I guess you can't murder the cats and they can just fly with their ears. It's fine. Are you... Are you a bad kitty? Are you a bad kitty? I can't. Bad kitty. Why can't I throw him this time? Ow! Rude! Bad guy! Spank you! Alright, whatever. I give up. Bye, Kitty. Come on, come on. I'm almost out of... Come on, and come on, and come on. Uh, 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 uh. Wait, where'd you go? Heart! Hey, stop! Stop! Keep forgetting to reset the the gyro. Yeah. Yeah. Monkey leaps. Wait, what's over here? How many bugs? I can't catch the bugs though, it seems, unless I've got um, like a net or something. Unless it's a beetle, then I can knock it off the off the ground. Aha! Come behind you! Hey! I thought I outsmarted her. And why did you lead me here? For why? How did you? How do I go in there? Oh, 
super secret. Mm. Mm. Let's see what's going on. Lady, oh my God, is that the master sword? That's like, is that already? No, that is not the master sword. That's the skyward sword. The one chosen by my creator. I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. Destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation. Fee is the name I was given. Or Fi. I'm gonna go with Fee. I was created for a single purpose, long before the rec record recorded memory of your people. My gosh. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, I'm dumb. You must take up this sword as the one chosen by my creator. It is your destiny. Strange dreams troubling your sleep. My sudden appearance. Uncertainty surrounds the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. Uh, yep, yeah, might say that. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. <laughs> what? She is? Sweet. And this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up the sword before you set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? <laughs> yeah. <coughs> it seems that further persuasive measures will not be required. In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Okay. Ready stance? Huh? 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 Wait, what? Turn it upside down? Okay. Hello! Oh, wait. Ooh, what did that do? You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Ooh. The goddess sword. Recognition complete, master. I'm dumb. My master. What? <laughs> I'm dumb. I've had my suspicions, but until now I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation along with a handful of words. The light of the goddess's sword shines bright. The great apocalypse will wake from this long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then that a youth guided by my hand shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. Started days ago, the sword that I have kept secret all these years it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone with the sword. There was simply no other explanation. <coughs> I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. I don't know why my cat is looking. Mm. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. 
The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also useful in likeness, yet wise with knowledge immeasurable. That's me? Ah uh, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Oh. Huh? You have more information, lady? The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land. Such is his destiny. Spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, shall bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. What? So I gotta go to the surface world and save Zelda? Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe the whole world below far more vast than Skyloft. Oh yeah, she said that. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you can fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, Honorable Zelda. Oh, this is no easy task. I'm dumb. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. I can do it. Oh. Wait, are those her arms or her arms under those? Ooh, a brick. Thank you. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. I got the emerald tablet. A weathered surface of this heavy stone. Weather the weathered surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in the room with a skyward strike. These blasts are formed by pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. I bet I can cheat this by, like, re aiming my thing down and then. Wow, it's so shiny. That sound wasn't as good as it was in older games. I got one. Are there three more? Oh! Pierce the clouds, you say. Have to fly my birdie over there. Mm. Is that going to be like our first dungeon world? Master, I'm dumb. It is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you placed in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Uh, I can summon her just like the bird, whenever you require my assistance. I will never require your assistance. I'm dumb. Listen a moment. The nature of the great apocalypse mentioned in old text is a complete mystery to me. But, whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if what the Fee says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face. I'm dumb. Especially down there. <laughs> but if you've decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. 
What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it is only the start of your journey. Please see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay. I will see it through. You do your people proud. I'm dumb. Dawn is drawing near. It has been a long night for the both of us, hasn't it? You have a great journey before you, Abdom. And those clothes, they don't look up to the task. <gasps> the uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. Ooh. Steward, a uniform like that will prove much more suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. Heck yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, I get the, the hero's tunic. My, my glean, my glean, my green. Ooh, yeah, there it is. The pants are weird, though. Ah oh, yeah, I'm a knight. Mm -hmm. Mm. Take on the world. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Heck yeah. Oh yeah, now I'm ready to go slay some things. Let's go. Take care on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at your bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You're always welcome to stop by if you have questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over and guide you both. Thanks, Gerberp a derp Ah, sweet. I am looking so great. Okay. Let's go to the bazaar, you said? Uh, figure out where that is. I'm dumb. Yeah, you are. For not telling me where my bird was. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You sure like look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. Is it a net? We've got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. Uh, okay. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you'll need on your big journey. You can buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. <laughs> you could buy some potions and a shield and they'd fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on the adventure. I definitely want the shield. I'm dumb. I just know you'll find Zelda for us. All right. Uh, where is the bazaar? Hey, you. Hey. Hey. I just saw the news. Out of all of us, how come only you got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. On top of all that, Groose won't come out of his room, and Zelda's missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. Where's Groose's room? Where is... Oh, hello, Rady. Ah. Oh, you're taking off on your journey now. Then you probably won't be eating here for a while. Well, take care of yourself. Make sure you come home every now and then. Nothing like a good sleep in your own bed. Okay, um, but where is the shop in town that, uh, restroom? I don't need to use that. Ever. Um, I need to find some stuff so I can get the shield, like the one behind me, right, right there. Pouch. Pouch. Okay, it, my... There we go. That's better. Save! Definitely want to do that. Been a while. I'm done! Yeah! <coughs> okay. Okay, it's the left one. Okay, just had to break the pot, that's all. Alright, where is the- huh? Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. The column of light has appeared to the south of our location and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. 
I must also caution you that descending to the surface armed only with a sword would result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase a shield and potions at the bazaar in preparations for your journey. Yes, that's what I want to do, but where is the bazaar, huh? Money! Butterflies! Oh my god, I'm so sorry! I didn't know I could do that. Um, saw nothing. Is this the bazaar? Are you a bazaar? Yeah! Buy some food. Next, a dash of pepper. Delicious. Another culinary delight ready to be savored and enjoyed. Alrighty. Wow, it's bizarre. Oh. What's this? What is that that my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before us. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous, thorny road ahead for you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. I'm gazing into them. Gaze into my eyes. Stare deeply into my eyes. These eyes see many things. Oh yes, these lovely round eyes can see you and see into the future. Allow me to tell your future, fortune boy. <laughs> future, <laughs> do you doubt these eyes? I look upon your shirt, boy, and I see a single thread loose on your sleeve stitching. Nothing can hide from these eyes. Normally I seek ten rupees to tell a fortune, but this time I will charge but one rupee. So do you want me to tell your fortune? Do you dare discover what fate has the- Sure, why not? Yes, I knew it. Aha, <laughs> what a treat. You are the first customer I've had in a while. Oh, I mean, I'm the best at what I do. You can trust these glistening eyes. <coughs> Very well. Let me see what I can see. Yes, your fortune is all coming into focus now. <laughs> well, ah, I see many things. All is revealed. Young man, are you about to head into a densely wooded area, somewhere blanketed in green? Yes? Ah, my eyes, they see all. Trees everywhere, yes, many trees. I would serve you well to buy a wooden shield before you travel. I can see that you are a bit young and green yourself, so it couldn't hurt to take a heart potion with you. That's all I can see for the moment. My eyes, they grow weary. Come see me again if you should lose your way. My eyes... Good luck, young man. Okay. Thanks. Oh my god, you're creepy. Okay, let me buy your shield. Aha! Aha customer, hello there, friend. My shop carries the finest products you'll find anywhere. Please take a moment for your senses to savor the wonderful treasures I have prepared just for you, friend. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. How do I buy? Oh, yes, yes, allow me to explain. All you need to do is stand in front of any of my wares and press A to examine this beauty. Take your time and shop to your heart's delight. It's always free to look, my friend, and there's no pressure to buy. No pressure at all. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, I don't like how he follows me. Aha! That's a wooden shield. You can use it to block and repel attacks. You must be careful, though, as it will break if it takes too much abuse. Oh, don't forget about fire. It will burn quite easily. It's an unfortunate property of wood. It could be yours for 50 rupees. Care to buy it, friend? Okay. You got a wooden shield. This light wooden shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your loyal and kind with a patronage, friend. I've taken the liberty of pricing the item in your pouch to open your pouch. Press the... Select the item you want to equip and press R. And there it's all to it. For example, to equip an item like a shield, it's as simple as selecting it in your pouch. Cool. Um, are you sad now? Or release to select. Oh, ha ha, bombs. Aha, very sorry, but the cancel you need unless you have a bomb bag. Again, my apologies. 
Okay, so I got to come back later for that. Potions? <laughs> ah, hello. Welcome to my humble little side business over here. I, uh, infuse the potions my wife sells with new ingredients to increase their power. It's nothing, really. Just something I like to do. Well, ah, do you have any potions you would like me to infuse? Sure. Oh, no, you don't have any potions to infuse. My oh, wife down there sells potions if you want to speak with her. Do I get a bottle, too? Yeah. Hey there, yes, you, the adorable boy with the golden hair. Welcome to the potion shop. You can drink our potions when you're injured to fill up your hearts. Hey, you're one of those knights, aren't you? Or one in training, at least. Hmm. Let me tell you, you look at the, and I can tell you need my, my potions by the cauldron full. So don't try to slink away without stocking up. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. Forgot to ask if you have an empty bottle on you. Just so you know, I can't sell you a potion if you don't have an empty bottle to pour mm -hmm. it into you. For some reason I like you. Though, so I'll give you a spare empty bottle I've been keeping here in the stall. Oh, it's nothing. It's my little gift. You won't hear me say this often, but you can put other things besides potions in an empty bottle. So it's a useful thing to carry around. Heck yeah! Empty bottle. Filled with all sorts of useful things. Mm. Empty bottles who fit in your adventure pouch. Press fire to take a look. If you ever get to the point where you can't fit any more stuff in your pouch because it's full, you can always drop items off at the item check. Mm. So, what would you like to buy? Uh, red potion? Yeah. What's a bad of heart potion? Drink this to your and it will replenish eight hearts. Why don't you pick some up for your adventures? Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Got a potion and a wooden shield and we're ready to head to the circle. Yeah. Heart potion. You can use it to start eight hearts. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. If you want a potion powered up, go see my husband at the end of the counter. He can make something up for you. Can you make it super strong? <laughs> ah, hello, welcome to my home. We said this already. I thought I infused the potions, but Sure! These are the potions you're currently carrying that I can infuse. Okay. Regular potion plus. Completely restores all hearts. Oh, but I need those things? I don't have any of those. Okay. Sorry. Oh, so you're not interested? Well, I hope to see you again. Good luck, goodbye! I got all my stuff and things. Ah, is it time to go to the surface? Oh, my shield has a little, like, damage meter. How do I use my shield? How do I help? Swing sword, spin attack, controls. Look around, help, whistle, move, map, inventory, reset, or action, dash, look around. Pouch, look on. I guess I don't. Yeah! Um! <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> the sky. Uh. Alright, where are we going? What are we going for? Oh, what are these? Ow! Rude! Oh, now we can probably go to... To whatever this thing is. Alright, where are we going? Map. Can I place a way marker? No? Um, okay, now this is all screwed up again. There we go. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. There's the light. Let's go there.
Zive. Zive. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. Whoa. Oh, we made it. Wait. Oh, I thought we were at the surface. Wait. This isn't where I wanted to be. Hmm. I want my birdie back. Oh, I can't. I can't. Hello? Watch your step there. Haven't they taught you at the academy that knights must always be vigilant? Sharp enough or you'll never make it to knighthood. I want a blue tunic like that. <laughs> okay, we gotta get to the surface and then we'll end this episode. Oh, I gotta jump off one of these. Hmm. There we go. Fly up to. Nah. Screw it. We'll be back, I'm sure. Actually, no. Nah. I can't. I can't let this uh, chest go over here without getting it. I press the wrong button. Oh wait, why did you put me over here? I want I want the chat I want the, the little platform right there. I wanna go up there. And then jump to the chest over there. Cause it looks it looks fancier than a rupee chest. Hmm. Alright, okay. I guess we are just gonna go for now. <laughs> We'll go towards the light. Cause wasn't there wasn't there one that I almost jumped to when I left the bazaar? Like right over here somewhere. Ah! Smack my microphone. This place looks a lot smaller from the skies. <coughs> Can I bring my birdie down there? Give me your money. <coughs> yeah! Birdie money. Oopsies, oopsies. All right, I forgot my bird. Well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Bye bye. Oh my gosh. We're going to the first area. Just falling from the sky, no big deal. Uh ah! Oh, I was pressing the wrong buttons. Is there a save birdie? Wow. Master, please make sure to use your sailcloth when descending from high elevations. Failing to do so has a high probability of resulting in injury. I took the liberty of deploying the sailcloth for you this time, but in the future you can manually engage it by I pressed it though. I did it. Before landing. Master, I'm dumb. We've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Ah, okay. Yeah. Map. Sealed grounds. Wow. 
Where? Ooh. Okie doke. Cool. Please proceed with caution, Master. Alright. I will do that. Is there a save thingy? There is a save thingy. Save thingy? <laughs> Why can't I save at it? Uh, well, I'm gonna end here anyway, so... Hopefully it just picks up here and we don't have to redo a bunch of stuff. Because I am done for the night. I am late tired. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. Like this video, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like it. And I will see you all soon. Bye.